So in one fell swoop, we can reduce talent risk, create a strategic advantage, and solve a problem for the community that enhances our brand equity that can drive membership organically and drive lending organically because it creates more awareness on our mission and what we're doing for the community. It's a win, 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 win. So before we get into the, the daycare des desert piece, I wanted to just express why, I don't know, I'm just so invigorated by the conversation that we had. This particular client is smaller than $250 million, but they've repeatedly received small credit union awards. We've been working with them since they were, I think maybe like $48 million, $52 million in assets, and now they're knocking on 160. million. And they're in a part of the country that even a lot of other financial institutions have given up on or just don't, the juice isn't worth the squeeze for their particular business model. For me, everything isn't just about money. What gives me the most enjoyment is where I'm able to help clients solve problems in their institution and solve problems in their community. Some strategic, and, and some strategic planning sessions, I know, I know what it's going to be up front. The, the, the CEO and the management team already have a plan. They kind of already know what they want to do for the year. We're going to increase indirect by X percentage. We're going to fund it through this particular funding source. And everything's kind of like automatic. And I don't begrudge them for that. We can do that. That's fine if we're managing those liquidity, credit risk. and all that. But then we get into situations sometimes where folks want to solve like problems with their organization and really put together some type of unique st strategy. Now let's get to the daycare desert piece. This is a, actually a beautiful example of how well-intended regulations have unintended consequences or what some might call regulatory burden meaning state legislatures have created regulations and policies that all daycares have to follow. Here's the rub though. Those, those policies create fixed costs for the business that they have to pass on to the consumers and not all consumers meet the median income level to cover those costs. And so, that rule, although well-intended, may work in Orlando. It may work in Atlanta. It may work in Houston. But when you impose that rule on an entire state without any exceptions, that particular rule could potentially create a business constraint. You've created a situation where it's no longer economically feasible for those businesses to survive. But in every problem, there's a strategic opportunity. And as you're, you're listening to this, there's different people that hear this problem. And some might say, that's not my problem. I'm a, we're a financial institution. Why in the world would we ever get in, involved in a daycare? And they got some folks that sit here thinking, kind of like I was like, oh my goodness, this is a strategic problem that can solve a problem for the community, can give us a strategic advantage in the hiring market, and then also it enables us to continue acquiring the talent that we need to grow as we continue on building this credit union. Because this problem isn't just a teller problem, it could also be a problem with hiring additional members of management team that's going to be needed to build out this org chart. So in one fell swoop, we can reduce talent risk, create a strategic advantage and solve a problem for the community that enhances our brand equity that can drive membership organically and drive lending organically because it creates more awareness on our mission and what we're doing for the community. It's a win, 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 win. Are there risks? Yes. Will it be difficult? Yes. But every big problem that gets solved that you actually would be like really, really like excited about and proud and solve of solving, they are difficult problems.
But that is the key difference between a strategic initiative and a tactic during a strategic planning session. And that's all I have for you all today. I hope hopefully you enjoyed this content. These it's I started this video like in the morning, took some calls and now it's like six o'clock and these gnats are or mosquitoes or whatever they are, are eating me up alive. Again, hopefully you had a blessed day. 